Hi, I'm Black Bright and I'm broadcasting out of the UK and I'm welcoming you. Um, thank you for subscribing, thank you for sharing, thank you for liking. Just give me the thumbs up if you like my videos. Uh, today I decided to do a video because I read this newspaper article yesterday about these two boys. They were in their early 30s. I think they had some kind of criminal past. But they'd stolen a, a credit card, picked out some lottery numbers and won four million now camelot are saying that they're not entitled to the four million because they stole the credit card so what is, what would you say about this um could they argue that it was their winning numbers not the fact that they stole the card that won them the money or do you think that the winning lottery ticket the winning should go to the holder of the credit card or what because it's a real it's a weird one i mean they've got um solicitors working on behalf of course they want some of the money everything about is bloody money but anyway they've got some two solicitors working on their behalf who claim that um, Camelot are, are, are kind of being biased because they've called up and they've claimed that they um, won this money and they have an ac uh, a Cockney accent or they're not posh. If they were posh, they wouldn't have questioned them. But apparently um, the solicitors are claiming that because they heard of the way they speak, they started vetting them and checking into their history and into their background to see whether or not they qualify for winning the money. Now, I don't know if they actually stole the credit card. This is what Camelot are saying. The um, lawyers are saying that they didn't. Um, there's some kind of inconsistencies with the responses in, um, in the investigations. I don't know. But it's a tricky one. Can you imagine? The same would apply, I guess. No, but I don't even know how they used a credit card and they don't have the PIN number. It's, you know, I, I, I don't know. Because if, you, if you've got a winning ticket, that winning ticket entitles you to the money, I would have thought, regardless of the source. Because the winning ticket is evidence that you put in those numbers and you've won. So does it matter how you um, paid for those tickets? And if you pay for those tickets fraudulently or um, through theft of a card, should you be entitled to that money? And if you're not entitled to that money, who should be entitled to that money? I don't think that money should go back to the um, to Camelot. I mean, somebody should win it. And I think it's the person who's been inconvenienced by having their card stolen. Oh, maybe it should go to charity. I'm just doing this quick one. I was just wondering your thoughts, whether or not what your, your thoughts were about that. So somebody steals a credit card. They write some numbers down. They win four million on the lottery. What should happen? That's all. Bye bye.